I'm filming on the hottest day of the year. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, guys, it is 32 degrees here in the good old UK, and oh, we're not built for this weather, guys. We're not. We're not built for heat. We're built for rain and wind and drizzle and being mildly cold and we complain about it anyways but that's what we're built for we are not built for 32 degrees hi guys and welcome back to the channel my name's jack and i thought i'd do a bit of a different ish video this is sort of um i'm doing a kind of sort of mini wardrobe tour kind of thing today the majority of my wardrobe is t-shirts and the majority of those t-shirts are pink as you'll probably see uh, but no, I just thought I'd run through them all today and just show them off. Oh! I got the camera angle right first time. Oh! By the way, before we start, welcome to Plushie Central! <laughs> this is just the armchair that the plushies go on, because literally the only ones that live in this house are me and Craig, and we've got seating for four people. One of the armchairs belongs to the plushies now. That That is their armchair. I don't dare move them. <laughs> um, starting off with the first top, which is rather nice. It's very flowy. I actually thrifted this two days ago, and I was quite pleased with it. It's just, um, yeah, I found it at a thrift store in town, and I rather like it. I'm really, I'm really big on fruit prints for some reason. I, I, I was literally walking past the shop on the way home from work, and I saw this, like, this wasn't in the window, but it was sort of on a rack near the window, and I all I saw was cherry print. And I thought, I'm having that. <laughs> so I went in going like, please be my size, please be, please be my size, please be my size. And it was! Um, I just, I took it off the rack and it was my size and I just bought it there and then. I didn't even try it on. Um, in, in some ways I wish I had, because it's a little bit shapeless in that, you know, it's just like, there is no shape here, it's just like a loose top. Um, but I don't mind that at all. I think technically it's meant to be off the shoulder, but I am more comfortable <laughs> with it like this. I, I am not one to show my shoulders off, but it's very flowy, very pretty, and very nice. And next up is this rather sweet little number from, uh, and this is official merch for the YouTuber Pixie Locks. And this was sort of one of the first kawaii, like, t-shirts that I bought. Um, and I believe she stopped selling these. I might be wrong, but literally whenever I go to a video of hers now, the link to her shop doesn't seem to work. It doesn't lead anywhere. So I don't know if she's taken these off sale. I really hope she hasn't because there were like a couple of other ones that I wanted to get, but I am poor and I couldn't afford them. But yeah, I got this one and I got one other which I'll show you in, in a minute. I'm sort of going through, <laughs> I'm sort of going through all the pink and then the rest of the colours. Uh, but go get them, sweetheart. I love this one. I love this one so much. And these all came in different like colour options. So it was this design, like the pink heart design, but you could have it on like various different colours. Uh, but I just thought it suited this baby pink. I thought it was rather sweet. And at this point, this t-shirt's a little bit old. It's shrunk a little bit in the wash. Either that or I've grown. It's one of the two. Uh, it's probably the second one, if I'm honest. Um, but yes, very, very sweet and very, very cute. She designed these herself. And also, if you sort of look, like, the design, like, the vinyl sort of coming off a little bit. So I, I wear this t-shirt to death. I love it so much. And it just illustrates how much I love Pixie Locks because she sort of unleashed my inner kawaii rainbow child and I thank her for that. Uh, I really, really do. She is a gem. Next on the list! Um, this kind of became a joke on Instagram while I was away on holiday in Cornwall. Um, a month ago now? It doesn't feel like a month ago. Where has July gone? Seriously. Because I went on holiday at the end of June and it's now nearly the end of July. It's just this this year's running away from me. Come back! Where are you going? Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I made a joke about this one because somehow I was wearing this t-shirt in every one of my holiday snaps that I took and I was, uh, I was, I was putting it in the description saying, please, please believe me, I have been wearing other clothes, I am not some nasty person who has been wearing the same t-shirt for two weeks straight. I had, I, this did go through the wash, I just happened to be wearing this one whenever we went on a day out or we went somewhere that 
warranted taking pictures. And this is another one of a set of two. Um, this is the fairly cute Pokemon design from Blue Potion Co. on ins uh, on Instagram, on Etsy even, sorry. Uh, yeah, Blue Potion Co. And like I say, I've got this and I've got another t-shirt as well, again with a Pokemon design on because everyone knows by now I am a total Pokemon fiend. Um, but I have a really big thing for fairy Pokemon, I really do. And I think my favourite on here is Dedenne. Dedenne is so cute. Mind you, having said that, I really like like shiny Dratini and shiny Dragonair. Has, it, has anyone noticed like shiny Dragonair, Dragonair is like the ultimate like Maho Shoujo Pokemon? It just... I mean, it looks like it jumps straight out of card captors, but I'm digressing, so I should probably move on. Yep, on to the next one. This one's another thrifted piece. Oh, and I didn't even realise how much it went with that necklace, actually. Oh, by the way, the necklace is... that was literally three pounds from a toy store. I don't know what that is in dollars, but three pounds is basically nothing. Um, yeah, another thrifted piece, and I really, really like it. Another just sort of random find. I just... I adore, like, this lace bit at the top. I think it's so delicate and so... Just, ah, oh, I love it. I, I love, and the little bow on it as well. I just, everything about it is so pretty and it's sort of fitted as well. And it's, it's really, really nice. And it's sort of, it's sort of like a very, very, very thin knit. It's like, it's not your usual, like, cotton, like, t shirt material. It's sort of, it's wool rather than, rather than cotton. So, uh, yeah, it's, I, I don't know, it's a little bit different and, it's just rather sweet. I really, really like it. And like the lace carries on over the back as well. So nice. And I wear this when I'm trying to be posh and fancy and usually when I'm going out for the evening. Because otherwise I'm like way too scared that I will like tear the, the lace. Because I'm sure I've done that at some point. I think I did that once. Yeah. There's like a teeny, teeny tiny weeny, teeny little hole where I, yeah, I sort of caught it with my bag. So ever since then, I don't really wear this for just going out and about. I just, I save it for when I'm trying to be a bit posh. <laughs> so yes, one of my fancy dressing up tops. And another thrifted piece. I'm very good at going through charity shops and like secondhand stores and finding nice pieces that I like. Um, but this one I particularly liked because I've always kind of been into the whole like pirate aesthetic and I don't know something about like the ruffles at the top and like the, the cords and everything the fact it looks kind of like um like a loose uh what would you call it like blouse I don't know um but there was something about that that sort of said pirate to me so I, I got this one and I'm really rather <laughs> really 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 rather pleased with it so yeah slightly and anyone who's, I mean, I don't know if there's anyone who's still around from when, you know, from before on this channel, but my channel actually used to be called Scallywag Jack because I was that into the whole pirate thing. And I tried to make that my main aesthetic, but it, it didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> but if I can sort of bring a slight flavour of pirates into my everyday clothing, I do, and it's really nice, and I love it. And I do actually have a Pirates of the Caribbean like medallion somewhere that I could wear with this, I suppose. Maybe. We'll see how that works. But it, again, it, it goes quite well with my toy store necklace. <laughs> okay, and next up, more thrift shop stuff. <laughs> uh, I found it, I found this one when I was on holiday in uh, Cornwall recently. Um, and I thought it was quite interesting because I went into this, um, I went into this charity shop and I saw this hanging up and, I don't know, part of my brain went, oh yeah, that's because the live-action Aladdin just came out. And then I realised, duh, I'm stupid. Yeah, it's a charity shop, a thrift store. Um, it's not like they schedule different pieces to come out. It was just sort of a coincidence that <laughs> this was in, you know, this was in a thrift store, a second-hand store, at exactly the same time as Aladdin just came out. So I thought that was kind of cool. I haven't actually seen that one. I've watched most of the, like, Disney live-action remakes, but I haven't seen Aladdin yet. I haven't seen Aladdin... I'm... and I haven't seen... oh, excuse me, I hiccuped. I haven't seen Aladdin, and I haven't seen The Lion King either. 
I'm not that big on the live action remakes. I'm, you know, I'm not all that fond of them. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion or not, but. Um, I'm not, I'm not enjoying them that much. I mean, Maleficent I thought was brilliant. I thought that was like a really good idea. It was a really fresh concept. It was a really, yeah, it was a really good film. I love Angelina Jolie. And she did an amazing job. And I thought it was a really cool, like, different take on it. Um, but ever since then, there's just been sort of doing live actions of all of their classics. And I don't, I'm not really feeling it. And I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe that makes me a bad Disney fan. I don't know. I love Disney, but um, I'm not going to um, anyways, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> that's that's for another video because I will be doing movie reviews on here at some point. Um, but I tell you what, I love Jasmine. I love Jasmine as a princess. She's pro probably one of my favourites. So I was really happy when I found this. And again, this this one's got sort of it's not really lace, but it's like this. What what would you call this? Like um, it's like a cutout. I'll I'll look up the actual term for this. But like this sort of the design across the back, I really really love as well. Um, and something else I love about this is that it's sort of long at the front and long at the back, and it sort of it sort of comes up and back. I don't know. There's something I really like about that. Oh, and speaking of Disney, I'm now wearing my Toy Story 4 necklace. <laughs> that was a decent film as well. I'll do a review on that at some point. But anyway, yes, Jasmine, very good. On we go. And here we go. This is T-shirt number two from Blue Potion Co. on Etsy. Um, this might have been, the, I think this was the first one I bought, because I didn't buy the two together like I did with the Pixie Locks t-shirts. I bought, um, I bought this one, and then I bought the fairly cute one a little later on, when I'd been paid again, and I had money. So, yes, but I really like this one. This, for some reason, even though it's, like, technically, it's listed as the same size as the fairly cute one, but this actually feels a little bit more fitted, a little bit tighter. Um, but no, it's, it's covered in ghost types, and I love ghost types. I mean, especially like Chandelure. Uh, I'm trying to see everything on the on like the viewfinder rather than on me, so it's a little bit difficult. Uh, oh, Suicune, I love Gengar, Milotic. Actually, not a lot of these are ghost types. Now I look at them. Uh, Toga Kiss as well. But yeah, it's very nice. I love that one of my favourite legendaries is like front and centre, right between the the you know the yeah very very happy with it yes and to be honest blue potion co have so many different designs that i would love to get it's not just pokemon although the majority of the ones i want are pokemon um i believe they oh wait a minute no i know where i got the ghost thing from i think they've got a design called lavender town which is like ghost types that's that's something i'd like but yeah they've got a load of different designs Lots for Pokemon, lots for Disney. I think they've got Harry Potter ones. Uh, but yeah, really, really good. If you, you know, if you like this kind of print and you like Pokemon or, you know, Disney, definitely go and check them out because they've got a brilliant store. And it's not just t-shirts either. They do like bags and other stuff as well. So they're well worth checking out. I highly recommend them. Hey, guess what? Thrifted! <laughs> More stuff that's been thrifted. I, f I find that thrift stores are like the best places to find stuff for my style, oddly. Like I'll go through so many websites. Um, I'll go through eBay and Amazon and find barely anything that I want and then I'll go into a thrift store in town and shazam, I've got something. Um, so yeah, and I think this one's pretty sweet. There's not a lot to say about it really, it's just sort of generally sweet and very nice. But yeah, I like the little little bodie tail, I like the little panel, I like the stripes, and it's overall very, very nice, and I like it. Yes. And boom. T-shirt number two from Pixie Locks. This is the Secretly a Magical Girl top, which I believe I was wearing in one of my videos before. Um, and I really, really like this one. And I had to get this in baby blue because I thought it's, it worked so well with like the pink bow and the yellow star and the purple writing. And to be honest, pink, blue, purple and yellow, that's kind of my favourite colour palette anyway. Yes, another one that's you know, a little bit old. This one's not as tight as the other one, so maybe it's just the uh, pink Go Get em, Sweetheart one that shrunk. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yes, I do very, very, very much like this one. Thank you so much, Pixie. Mwah, I love you. Also, I think my camera's overheating. Come on, baby, stay with me. Stay with me, baby. I know it's hot, but you can do it. And here is one of my most recent t-shirts. I, um, I bought this going through eBay. This was on, you know, this was in, like, my recommended panel at the bottom. And I thought, oh yeah, retro My Little Ponies, I will have some of that. Because, I don't know about you guys, but I much prefer the look of the retro 80s 
My Little Ponies rather than the new ones. Like, I, I like the messages in the new cartoon, but as for the overall look of the ponies, I really wish they'd kept, like, this look, like, because they look more like ponies to me. I don't know about you, but yeah, to me, that looks more like a pony than, you know, the new ones. Not bashing the new cartoon at all. I mean, I still watch it. Um, but yeah, it's just, I, I don't know, I prefer the look of the ponies in the old one. Uh, this one's Starshine, by the way. <laughs> yes, I know all the old ponies by name as well, so shoot me. But yes, this one's this one's a tiny bit restrictive because it's actually a man's t-shirt. So, you know, there's not so much space for, you know, the upper section of my body. But, nah, it's alright, it's cool. I, and I got, I, had to, I got this in a size medium, I think. I'm a man's medium. And you know, it fits pretty well. I mean, it's quite, it's quite a soft, quite a stretchy material, so it's it's pretty forgiving. Um, but it's just when it first goes on, when it's just been freshly washed, it's a little bit tight. <laughs> but I want a pony, don't we all? Yes, I think so. Especially that pony, she's pretty. Although I remember my favourite being uh, Strawberry Fair. And she was always my favourite. Her or Bowtie. I like those two. I'm going to stop now before I go on a rant about My Little Pony, because it's something I could very easily do. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck in my t-shirt, help! <laughs> dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -dum -dum. On to the last one, on to the last one. la di da di da I'm getting very warm. I'm getting very warm. And, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> last but not least, this one! And this one I looked high and low for on the internet. I wanted... because... It's because of Stranger Things. And I think it's episode two, is it? Where Max and... Oh, by the way, spoiler warning, I think. Just in case. Um, but I think it's episode two where Max and Eleven go shopping. And Max is wearing basically this t-shirt. And I was watching the series, I was watching the episode and I thought, Oh my god, I really want that t-shirt. And it took me ages to find this, and I have no idea why. Like, lots of, sort of, basically right t-shirts came up, but, like, there were a lot that were just, like, a white t-shirt with, like, the red rings, but then just, like, one rainbow across the chest. Like, a, a one thick rainbow, and then, like, over the arms as well. I thought, that's not really what I want, and in the end, um, through a lot of, like, research, and a lot of looking up the right terms, I believe, into eBay, I had to type in Retro 80s Rainbow Ringer T-shirt, uh, to find it. And, I mean, it's, it's still not perfect, I mean, it's, it's not quite the rainbow that Max was wearing, but it's so close. And I, I am in love with the 80s, I would marry that decade, so, uh, I'm very, very glad that I have it. I think this is sort of one of my favourites at the moment. I love this t-shirt so much. Yes, very much so. Also, it's very, very long. I'm having to stand on tiptoes. But you see how long this is? It almost goes to the bottom of my shorts. It's so long. But the thing is, I don't I dent tuck it in. Not, not the heat that we've got at the moment. Um, also, again, not too crazy about the way my body looks, so I'll leave it untucked if it's alright with you. So yes, very very happy, and I, <laughs> to be honest, I'll probably do another one of these videos when I've got even more t-shirts, because god knows I will. Both I and my camera are severely overheating, so I think I'm gonna have to stop this here. That is the end of, well, it's, it's kind, it's almost the end of all my t-shirts. I have one other, um, which was this tank top. Uh, which I got out of a random fandom box, which is the Steven Universe box, I think. Did I get this out of that? I might not have done. Um, but it's this Amethyst t-shirt, uh, well, tank top, and it's got, like, this racer back, and, like, it's, it's great for when we've got, like, when it's as hot as it is. Um, because, oh my god, you, you can see, like, my hair's a mess, my face is shiny as hell, um, so it's, it's great for when it's hot, but... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little self-conscious about my figure, I'm a little self-conscious about my shoulders, so I, I decided I wasn't going to wear that one 
for the uh, for the video. I want one other. I had one other t-shirt and I feel so bad about this because this was a pre this was a present from a very, very, very dear friend of mine. This was from Cha Cha. Um, I got this at Christmas and I feel so bad about this, but look at this. This t-shirt was on Instagram everywhere. The milk t-shirt, which and it's that design on the front. And it's this design on the back. And it's so super duper cute. But disaster struck. Cha cha, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean this to happen, and I have no idea how it happened. But it got these it's got these like ink stains on it up at the top, and there's like yeah, there's like a, an even worse one at the bottom. And I have no idea how it happened. I think a pen must have like exploded in Craig's pocket or something when it was going through the wash and it destroyed this t-shirt and I'm so sad. So I'm I mean I'm looking around, I'm trying to find a replacement, but I don't want to get rid of this one because it was a present from my best friend in the world, Cha Cha. I'm so sorry, I hope you forgive me. I just <laughs> I don't know how it happened. Uh, but anyway, yes, um, my camera's dying, so <laughs> I'm going to sign off very quickly. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, if you want me to do sort of another wardrobe tour at any point, because I do have some dresses that I could go through. Also, I want to do I want to do a video about my several jackets at some point as well, because I've got some that I've put together myself, I've got some that I've bought. Yeah, so I have other clothes that I could go through, but today I just wanted to go through the t-shirts, because I've got a few of them and I'm quite proud of my collection. Uh, yes, so... Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys on the next one. I am going to go and hug the freezer and die. <laughs> I'm going to go and melt. Bye, guys. Love ya.